Man, it is like a jungle in here. What a difference this year as far as rain and last year. It was so dry last year. Now uh, we've gotten tons of rain, um, almost to the point where we can, we can stop getting rain for a little while. So I've got some supers here that I'm just gonna dig into. If I can pull some, that would be great. Uh, and then go through a couple of these and make sure that they have, still have queens or have, have raised a queen. Not much going on in this top box. This looks mostly like honey. Okay, so this is almost all honey here. This top box. And this is the one I shook out before. This is the laying worker hive. So this is all honey. Nothing going on in this top box at all as far as brood. Bad sign, there's plenty of open spaces here, so I'm afraid I have not fixed the laying worker issue. And I'm likely, likely gonna see just more drone brood, I assume, down in the bottom here, but let me get down in there and see what we got. Oh, that's all honey, it's very heavy. Pretty meager population, if you can see that. Yeah, nothing going on here. It appears I went from laying worker to queenless. I mean, I was queen, queenless to just straight queenless, not laying worker. I don't see any brood in here at all. I mean, I got this hive next to it. I could combine those if there's a queen in there. They were trying to raise a queen too, so dive into this other hive here and see what we got. Look at that, I brought smoke. Now if there's a queen in here, then I'll likely just go ahead and combine these. Okay, so I got a queen in here. Beautiful. That pattern looks like it's, she's kind of done a couple rounds even. First they got play cups because they probably were too small for too long. I didn't get out here for two weeks, so they're doing good. That would be the next concern is queen cells. I do have very young larva in here in that top part of this frame. So it's, queen's been here at least a few days ago. I haven't seen any queen cells. Again, a number of practice cups there. I had given this hive a lot of foundation, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did try and swarm, but, oh, there's a queen right there. Cool. Doing great, good pattern there. That's all brood, except for the big bumps out of, big bump outs of honey. It's right in the middle there. So she's doing great. I will combine these two hives here. Just double, triple check that I don't have any swarm cells. Whole frame of drone. <laughs> so just built that whole thing out. Um, gonna be almost all drone brood, I think. It's so interesting, they build that foundation away. They don't want to work on the foundation. They build, uh, they just build a couple of paths. There's probably a path here, here, and here, and then they, everything else is up above the foundation. So the bees are all going, you can see them working underneath there. <laughs> they just really don't like that. But yeah, I think it makes sense to combine these. Clear this off so I can put that other, this brood box on top of here. I guess I should tip it up and see how bad the underside is. A little bit under there I need to clean off. Not bad though, really. One little strip. All right, I'll put these guys together. 
Oh, okay, you're good. That's that one. A little bit there, a little bit caps. That's all brand new. Oh, this is a comb honey. If you can see through there, trying these things. I tried them last year, they didn't work very well, but last year um, we were so dry. I got honey, but this box is a different story. Full but not capped, or pretty full but not capped. Mostly capped, half capped. Watch out for brood in here too. I don't have a queen excluder on this hive. Lots of honey, but also lots of pollen. And this one, middle one has brood. That one has brood. So, what I'd like to do, find that queen, huh? There's a bunch of eggs in there. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's... Solid. So that'll be my job right now is to find the queen and get her bumped down. I can try and go through the hole deep or what I'm thinking about probably doing is just shaking out these top boxes. That's my plan, me forever to go through those. So we'll shake out these top boxes and then put a queen excluder on top. That's the most effective way I can think of to ensure the likelihood, I guess, that the queen is down in the two boxes that I want her. Now this is the first year I've ever not messed with a queen excluder until mid-year. Uh, still got a whole nother box to shake out here. So stand by. This box only had honey in it though, so. Oh, I was wrong. This does have, still have brood in it. smoke that actually was lit maybe it smells like smoke huh all righty call that that So the last time I was out here, I did the trick that I just did with this as far as shake, just shaking the bees out of the top boxes. I was doing it with this one and I went through the whole darn thing. I couldn't find the queen I'm using a deep and a medium for a brood chamber. So I shook these boxes out and then put a queen excluder in there. I'm hoping that that worked. I'm gonna check these top supers and make sure that we don't have any eggs. Should just have Sweet, sweet honey. This has been my strongest hive by far. It appears that this whole top box is really pretty close to, um, I don't know if it's full necessarily, but there's a lot of honey in here. I still have brood up here. Okay, so I have capped brood. I'm trying to see if I have any, because I haven't seen any eggs or larvae anywhere else in these top two boxes so so yeah if they were just eggs this could just be the last of it all right so i think i'm okay now oh we'll leave them leave them go then i think we're okay the brood should just be the last of it there's no more eggs or larvae in the top two boxes so i think we're just waiting for those to just emerge and then we'll be good This silly, I don't like this cover. For whatever reason, this cover is shorter. Doesn't give them any room then. There we go, okay. All right, so on to this guy over here. 
All right. Ha <laughs> ha, perfect. Packed full of brood. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So they got themselves a queen and we are good to go. Look at that, that's a nice pattern. Really nice pattern. So packed there, packed here. Really awesome. I love that clean, clean wax look. Not used yet, so it's really that really light color. It's all larva, all larva on that side, all larva on that side. Perfect, we can throw a queen excluder on and put a honey super on top. That's perfect. I think we were raising the queen here. Oof, that looks like a lot of honey in here. Not sure that we have a queen, we'll see. There wasn't any brood up top there. Nope, we got brood. Oh, we got lots of brood. That was wrong. Oh yeah, lots of brood. Oh boy, well we got a, well we got queen cells too. I guess they think that they don't have enough room. Hmm, is there anything up top? Well, we got lots of queen cells. Try not to damage them here. I have one that's one that's open, one that's chewed open there. Not sure why. Lots of queen cells. Two more capped ones. Okay, what's my issue? Lots of lots and lots of brood. They had a top box. The top box wasn't being used for brood. Let's see if we have anything young. I wouldn't guess we would have anything young now because I would expect when those got capped over then she left, right? That's a swarm. Tons of drone brood at the bottom here. Another queen cell. These are all emerging. I don't see any young. Makes sense. But I'm not sure why they did that. I assume that they swarmed. I mean, they've got this whole top. They've got comb up top. There was no queen excluder. 